brought to you by PostBargain.com. 3D props at bargain prices. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly make a tennis ball in Lightwave. Full credits actually goes to my good friend Rivanto, who had this tutorial planned ages ago, but forgot about it. So, I'll be resurrecting this technique from the grave. Start up Lightwave and create a ball object. Open up the numeric panel, but keep the default settings except for the sides and segments. Set sides to 8, and set segments to 4. Next, select the right hand side polygons from the front view and cut them. Then, paste them back again, but don't merge any points. The two halves need to be separate. Select the right hand side polygons again. Now, select Pivot from your mode menu as your action center. From your right hand side viewport, press R to rotate the selected polygons by 90 degrees. Deselect the polygons and merge all your points. Now, from the front view, select all of the following polygons. Then, Press Q to bring up your change surface window and type in a new surface name. I'm going to call it 1 just for simplicity. Also, I'm changing the color to pink. As you can see, it already has the tennis ball pattern. So, we select the other polygons, rename them and change the color to green. Now, in all honesty, I should have warned you at the beginning of this tutorial that the tennis ball would be a subdivided object in the end and not a low polygon one where you can press the tab key to turn on subdivision. However, if you really want a low polygon tennis ball, you can just make a high res version, then extract a bump or normal map and apply it to the low res version to fake the look of the high res one. Anyway, before we subdivide the mesh, we need to do some smooth shifting. So, select the pink polygons and use smooth shift at a value of about 20 millimeters. Then, select the green polygons and smooth shift them at the same value. Subdivide the mesh twice and you'll have a warped tennis ball shape. But we're not done yet. Go into your plugin menu and use the Spherize plugin found in the additional submenu. This will give your tennis ball its proper shape. If you can't find the Spherize plugin, make sure that you add the plugin using the Add Plugin button. It should be in your native Lightwave plugin folders. The only thing missing is the white rubber strip. So, zoom in and select some polygons at the borders of both the pink and green polygons and merge them using band glue or a similar plugin so it becomes one strip. With this strip selected, change the surface name and color. I made it a whitish color. Well, that's pretty much it. You can smooth shift the pink and the green polygons a bit more so you get a proper bump but basically the tennis ball is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this small tutorial and thanks once again to Ravanto for his wonderful contribution to the 3D community. Have fun and good luck in your future 3D projects. Mm -hmm.